By the end of this video, you'll easily be able to deal with equations of circles and graphing circles and all that stuff. And in about 30 seconds, here's how this video is going to get you there. We're going to go through a few different problem types with circles in this video. We're going to start with problems where we have to find the center and the radius and graph the circle given the equation. And then we're going to go through some problems where we're given some information about the circle, like the center and the radius or problems where we have the center and a point on the circle and we need to write the equations for those circles. And lastly, we'll go through a problem where now we're not given the equation of the circle in standard form, we actually have to write the equation in standard form and then find the center and the radius of the circle. And after we go through all of that, I'm gonna give you a problem to try and answer in the comments. And by that point, all this should finally come full circle. And if you're looking for the notes for this video, I made a printable version of these notes and I'm gonna have that linked right in the description. Also in the description, I have an extra video linked where you and I will go through and solve 10 more of these circle problems. We're gonna be doing all of these different problem types. I'm just throwing some harder problems as well. And so if you're looking for some extra practice with this kind of stuff, especially if you have a quiz or a test coming up on this kind of stuff, then I highly recommend you check out that extra video in the description. So for this first problem here, we want to find the center and the radius of this circle here, and then we want to graph it. So let's start with the center and the radius. If you want to find the center and the radius of this circle, then what you need to know is the general equation for a circle whose center is at the origin and whose radius is r. And that equation is x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared. Like I said, this is the equation for a circle whose center is at the origin. So its center is going to be zero comma zero. We'll talk about circles that have other centers in coming problems, but for this one, it's zero comma zero. And the radius, well, that comes from this r squared here. We know that in this case, it's nine. So if the radius squared is equal to nine, then we can square root both sides and that will give us the radius. So the radius here will be the square root of nine and that's three. We're not going to have any plus or minuses. It's not gonna be a plus or minus three because the radius can't be a negative number. That really wouldn't make sense. If you said you had a circle with a radius of negative three. So we can already eliminate the whole negative idea. So yeah, the center is zero comma zero. The radius is three. And so we have those first two pieces done. We found the center and the radius. Now all we have to do is go and graph it. So I'm gonna turn on some graph paper here and we'll go and do this. I'll first plot our center, that's at the origin. And then our radius tells us how far to go in each direction. It's three here, so we're gonna go one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and one, two, three. And now we're gonna graph a circle that connects all these points. What? Okay, yeah, not sure what that was about, but here's our circle. It's graphed, it's fine. And now we're good to move on to the next problem. So now we're going to move on to problem two and problem two says to find the center and the radius of this circle. And then we're going to graph it. And you can see that this is a little bit different from the last circle that we dealt with because it's got this negative two on the X and it's got the plus one on the Y. And what those two numbers are going to do is they're going to start moving the center of our circle. So our center is not going to be at the origin anymore. It's going to be displaced somehow. So let's talk about that. The equation for a circle in general, not a, just a circle whose center is at the origin. I'm talking about all circles here. The equation is x minus h squared plus y minus k squared is equal to r squared. And for that center, the two numbers that you were looking at is this h here and the k. So those are the two numbers that we need to find for our center. And those two numbers are not negative two and positive one. A lot of people get caught up there. They think that it's, it's those two numbers that you're seeing, but it's not quite. It's actually going to be a positive two and a negative one. You flip the signs. And if you're confused by that, which a lot of people are, I was at first when I was learning this, let's talk about why that is. So this X and this minus are already there. The H is what we're trying to find. What H do we need to plug in to get an X minus two? Well, we would need to replace this H with a positive two. And that's what would give us an X minus two. The Y is the same story. So we want a Y plus one. And so what we need to plug in for K to get that is a negative one. And so you can see how the signs are different. We want a X minus two. So we plug in a positive two 
for h. We want a y plus 1, so we plug in a negative 1 for k. You see how those signs are flipping. And when we flip those signs, we get an x minus 2 squared like we want. And then when you have these two negatives, you make it a positive. So we get a y plus 1 squared from that. And of course, the r squared is on the other side. But I did want to show you why the sign actually flips, because I think that's a really important thing to hit on. So putting this all together, we know that the center of the circle is h comma k. Remember that we just do the opposite of these two. So the x coordinate of the center is not going to be a negative 2. It'll be a positive 2. And the y coordinate's not going to be a positive 1. It will be a negative 1. And so there you have the center for our circle. Now we just got to find the radius. Now for the radius, we need to look at the other side of the equation. I'm talking about the 16, which is r squared. So to find r, you would need to square root this number. And the square root of 16 is 4, so that's going to be our radius. And so now we have the center and the radius of our circle. So pulling out the graph paper here, let's just go and graph this. We'll start with our center, which is at 2 comma negative 1. That's this point here. And our radius tells us how far to go out in each direction. So we're going to go out 1, 2, 3, 4, and do that on each side. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and another 1, 2, 3, 4. And now let's get the circle to connect these points. And so that is our circle for problem two. So now we're going to move on to problem three. And problem three says to write the equation for the circle with center negative 10 comma 9 and radius 6. So let's get to that. We already know the equation for a circle. We've talked about that extensively in the last problem. The x minus h squared plus y minus k squared is equal to r squared. And the numbers that we're going to be substituting in for here are the h, the k, and the r. So let's just plug in these values. We have x minus, we know h is negative 10. We know k is a positive 9, so we just plug in a 9 here. And we know the radius is 6, so we plug in a 6. And remember that's being squared. So we get a x, this will be x plus 10 squared plus y minus 9 squared is equal to 6 squared, that's 36. And there you go, that's the equation of your circle. And so really, you see the quick way of doing these problems, right? We have a negative 10, so we're going to have an x plus 10. We have a positive 9, so we have a y minus 9. And then the square of the radius is what ends up going here. So that's the quick way of making your equation. So we've already done a problem where we write the equation given the center and the radius. But here, we're given the center of the circle. And then we're given that it passes through the point negative 7 comma negative 1. So what do we do now? Remember, we do want the center and the radius. We have the center, but we need the radius. And so this point needs to help us find our radius. Let's think about how it can do that. If we have a circle with some center, and we know a point that it passes through, so let's say we have some point over here, the radius of this circle is going to be the distance between these two points. And so what we're going to want to do here is use the distance formula. So let's do that. Now the distance formula says that the distance between your two points is equal to the square root of the distance between your two x coordinates squared plus the distance between your two y coordinates squared. And here's a little bit of a tip here. You see how we have this gigantic square root on here? We definitely don't like looking at it, right? I don't like looking at it. You don't like looking at it. We can actually get rid of it. And here's how. Remember that the thing that we want in these circle equations is r squared. It's not r. Remember this d right here? That distance that we're trying to find is the radius. For the equation, we actually want the radius squared. And so how do we get the radius squared from this equation? We square both sides. And if we square both sides, that gigantic square root goes away. And of course, you're going to like looking at that a lot more. So when we square both sides, we get that the radius squared is equal to x squared 
or x2 rather, minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. And so let's name our two points now. I'm going to call this point our second point. I'll call the center our first point, and we can plug it. So the x-coordinate of my second point is negative 7, so that's x2. And then the x-coordinate of my first point is a positive 2. But remember that the minus is still going to carry down, and then I plug in that positive 2 for x1. So don't get the negatives confused here, okay? I'm just, this negative, it doesn't mean that I'm plugging in a negative 2 for x1. What it means is that I'm bringing down the negative that was already there. And then we have the y2 minus y1. The y-coordinate of my second point is negative 1, and the y-coordinate of my first point is a negative 5. And so now let's simplify that. So negative 7 minus 2 is negative 9, so I get a negative 9 squared. Then I have plus a negative 1 minus a negative 5. Two negatives next to each other can be both positive. And then I have negative 1 plus 5, that's 4. So I have negative 9 squared plus 4 squared. That means that my radius squared is 81 plus 16. And so my radius squared is 97. And so now I have my center, that's 2 negative 5. I'll write that down here. And I have my radius squared, so let's plug that in and make our equation. My x-coordinate of the center is a positive 2, so we're going to write an x minus 2 squared. The y-coordinate of my center is a negative 5, so I'm going to do a y plus 5 squared. And remember, r squared is what goes on the other side. I have my r squared. That's 97. So I plug that in 2, and I call that my answer. And I don't, I don't understand why I did that. Let's fix that right away. There we go. That's the equation of our circle. Now moving on to the last problem for this video, we're going to be finding the center and the radius of this circle here, and then we're going to be graphing it. But the issue here that you might see with this is that it's not in that standard form that we had from before in the other problems. So we're going to have to convert it into that standard form, and that's going to involve completing the square. And not once either, we're going to have to complete the square twice. So let's talk about how to do that. The first thing that we're going to want to do is subtract this 16 on both sides. It's the only number that doesn't have x's or y's on it, and that's how you know to put it to the other side. Now, when we do that, we get a negative 16 on the other side, but before we actually go and write all of that, I want to organize these x's and y's a little bit more. I want to take my two x's, and I want to pair them together. So x squared minus 8x is the first thing that I'm going to write. And then what I'm going to write is my two y pieces. So y squared minus 6y. And then again, on the other side, we have that negative 16. And now we're going to complete the square with the x's and complete the square with the y's. And if you've watched my completing the square video, you know exactly how I complete the square. I know like five or six different ways to complete the square. Like a lot of teachers will just teach it differently, but here is the fastest way by far. Here's all we're going to do. It's two steps. First, we're going to draw this little x thingy squared. Okay. That's not the first step. That's just like the setup. And the first step is to divide this number on x. We're going to divide it by two. Negative eight divided by two is negative four. We put that here. And then we're going to take this number, negative 4, we're going to square it, that's 16, and then we're going to subtract it. So that's step 2. Step 1 is getting this number, step 2 is getting this number. So now we do the same thing with our y's. The number that goes here is this negative 6 divided by 2, that's negative 3. And then negative 3 squared, that's 9, we put that out here and we subtract it. And then we have that negative 16 on the other side. So now we're getting very close to being done, but you can see that, well, this is starting to look like the equation of a circle, but we can't have that negative 16 or the negative 9 there. And so what we're going to have to do is get those to the other side. So let's add that 16 over and add the 9 over. When we do that, we get x minus 4 squared plus y minus 3 squared is equal to negative 16 plus 16 is 0, and then we have just a 9, so 
we get a 9 on the right hand side. And so that is the equation of our circle here in standard form. And from that you can see what the center and the radius is. The center is going to be not negative 4 but positive 4 and not negative 3 it's going to be a positive 3. So the center is 4 comma 3 and the radius is going to be not 9 it's going to be the square root of that number the square root of 9 is 3. And so now you have the center and the radius and all we have to do now is just graph that. So let's take that center 4 comma 3 let's plot that first it's going to be this point right here and now we're going to do that radius of 3 that means to go in each direction by 3. So we're going to go 1 2 3 1 2 3 1 2 3 and 1 2 3 and now we just need a circle to connect all these points. And there we go, last problem done. So that's how to graph circles and how to write equations of circles in standard form and all of that. And if you're feeling pretty comfortable with this, then here is a problem for you to try and answer in the comments. This problem says, define the center and the radius of this circle here, and then graph it. And I know you can't graph the answer in the comments, but you can find the center and the radius and let me know what that is in the comments. So try this problem out. Let me know what your answer is in the comments. And if you had any questions on anything else we talked about in this video, again, let me know in the comments and I'll try to get back to you when I can. Now remember, I do have that extra video linked in the description where you and I will go through and solve 10 more of these circle problems. We're gonna be doing all these different problem types. I'll especially be doing some more problems with this completing the square stuff. And yeah, so if you're looking for that extra video, I'm gonna have that linked right in the description. Lastly, make sure you guys are subscribed to the YouTube channel. And if there's any videos that you guys want me to make that I haven't put out yet, you know, definitely let me know in the comments and I'll, I'll try to get those out when I can. I'm really just trying to cycle through as many videos as possible right now and give you guys like, a, you know, quality math videos for each of those topics. So I'm trying to, you know, do some balance with quality and quantity here. So yeah, guys, that's going to do it for this video and I'll see you soon.